So time to start working on a capsule. We start with the interior as usual. Um, this is gonna have an EVA. So um, this is my EVA umbilical. I've got to install a uh, mount for it in the middle console here on the control panel. So how I've done that before is I'll take a piece of tubing. This is actually two pieces because I got a narrow piece of wire. So I stripped the wire and got this set up to uh, fit in here with any luck. Here we go. There we go. So um, this will just slip in here and then I'll be able to take it out as I need for transport or whatever. And uh, this will get attached to a panel that goes on one side and some reinforcing pieces and that'll, that'll make our umbilical. Make some progress on the interior. Got the cabin walls glued on. And I'm working on a reinforcing mount for the uh, PA cable umbilical. So you can see it here, it could be a piece of wire. And I've added like a, a panel wall here. You might have to put a little putty in there. I took a piece of cardboard and made a template until it fit and cut it on a piece of styrene so that it would glue on here. And then you have to add all sorts of little reinforcing things to make this solid. It's part way there. And the idea then, you can take your astronaut's cable or umbilical and plug them in there and it's gonna stick in something solid with enough length so it'll be workable. So uh, that's coming along. I'll let that glue set up and we'll put a few more reinforcements around that. And um, you can put some primer on this. Get that going. Almost forgot, I had him do the uh, RCS ring too. These parts don't fit together well. So I, I did a build up, here's my build. It's got some primer on it, but you can see on the inside, it, uh, so I had to plug the nozzles and the joints um, and the hole for the uh, horizon sensor cover. And, and here's a repop and I've ex accentuated the uh, uh, shingle bolt uh, washers. And uh, so it's much cleaner. So I can, again, I've got a couple of these now I can use for future projects without spending a couple hours cleaning this mess up. Well, one of the first things you have to do, one of the many first things on a uh, Gemini is to uh, correct the coves. And everybody knows about the, uh, well, everybody who seriously gets into this kind of model know that this, this round cove is from the engineering model and it's all blended into the front here and Glenn Johnson has got replacement parts. So what we have to do is cut this out and splice this in, which involves some surgery with a knife and a uh, saw and uh, some glue and some putty. So we'll start by uh, cutting this off, tracing the pattern over here and sawing that off and uh, doing our best. The trick here is to use various saws and scribing tools to make these cuts to get the part off. Scribby tools, pointy to my scribing tool and, and slowly work your way and hopefully if you go from the back a little bit and then hopefully uh, tweak it a little bit here and there, back and forth and um, Go back in again once you got a little bit of a crease. And be careful not to break the rest of the part. And with some luck, it might just pop right off. There we go, ta-da. And then we'll fiddle around with the uh, replacement part and uh, enlarge it and reduce the replacement part till it fits in there. So I've trimmed the side of this piece 
So um, it fits in here a little better. You can see that. Uh, what I've done is there's a like a I don't know edge piece here, a boundary piece that I've kept on the model. I've trimmed it off on this side because the lip here is actually that that uh, I guess it's a lingerie. So that fits there pretty well. So I think I can glue this in. And what I had to do is shave off the uh, inside of here. And that'll get that fit fits in here pretty good. And I'll uh, tack it down and then super glue it in. And then we'll just have to blend in the, the front layer a little bit. I used blue tack, some little blobs of blue tack to hold this in the back so I scraped that out and now I put some more super glue in the back seams here let that set up and uh, clean this up a little bit do a little carving here and then probably back up the gap with some uh, sometimes I've used um, two-part uh, epoxy sculpt which I'll probably do here just to give it some more substance and I'm gonna work on the other side so I got these glued in, got a little putty on them, and I'll be uh, cleaning that up. And then we'll redo the primer and uh, see how good a job that did. Meanwhile, I've been painting the uh, inside a little bit by hand. Probably needs another coat, smooth that out. And I just put in some uh, um, straps, seat belt straps on the uh, right side. Uh, I used a, a set I got from the local hobby shop from uh, Kits World, it's 48 scale F4 Phantom because built about the same time in the same shop as the McDonald Mercury. So um, that's in there, some little hoses. I'm gonna put a little piece of a little silver paint on the tips to represent uh, connectors. So those are some of the uh, spacesuit disconnects that come off when they go EVA. And so that um, should enhance that a little bit. And then the next thing we do some dry brushing and painting some of the interior and painting the other figure because I got to glue it in before I close up the capsule. So that's where we are. Cabin area is coming along nicely. I got seat belts and things in here, and straps and some hoses. I got to put a little paint on the hoses. I think it looks pretty good. And then the, uh, I kind of dry brushed and put a wash on the instrument panel. But I, I got a hold of some, I'm not even sure where I got these, some decals, uh, Mercury and Gemini. I used some, but they got instrument panel decals. So I'm going to try these, see what they, how they come out. And even got side panel switch, switch panels. So that'll add a little pop to the cockpit. We'll do that. And I got some primer on the uh, astronaut figure, so I'll have to start painting those soon. One of the nice details is to uh, make some window frames for the hatch windows. I uh, had some left over from a, a previous build. I was going to cut these out, uh, stiffen them up with some CA, uh, make a sandwich with a piece of the um, clear um, plastic window, and then drop them into window frames. Um, this is uh, more realistic looking than what comes, well, nothing comes with the kit, so adds a little nice touch. And then, of course, I need to make a uh, post holder to hold this thing up because I'm not going to use the original stand, so I have to insert something behind the behind the cockpit here. Usually there's a I'll put some sleeved uh, brass tubing or something like that. So just using a drill and my X-Acto knife, I chopped a hole in the base of the uh, cabin. Probably could have done it before I glued the pieces out; it would have been easier. And uh, a little square file. Oh, that's sharp. Got my aluminum sleeve, and that'll go in here. And that'll um, be it. Uh, cut a little piece off and glue that inside. And then I got a narrower piece of aluminum that'll be the actual stand. And that'll magically sleeve and hold that on. So that's um, the uh, insert, something sturdier than the. Uh, floppy little thing that they get with the kit. I've got a uh, piece of aluminum square tubing 
securely glued into the back there. And the telescoping piece, that'll be the face, is now set here. So we got a nice secure um, pad or base for the uh, stand. Uh, primer on the uh, coves shows a little touch up to do. So you have to reshape those um, um, dimples in there on both of those. So always need a little touch up. So we'll go back and carve that a bit. The um, pilot, co-pilot, is the pilot, I guess, on the left side. He's about ready for some real painting. Got the primer on. And these um, window frames are, uh, got some CA on them. Cut them out. This one I already cut out. I had another one cut out, but I dropped it somewhere, disappeared. And uh, another layer of CA to stiffen these up some more. And then we'll laminate that over a piece of uh, clear plastic. So work on these three things in parallel.